Hello everyone, and today we will be doing the McLaren series for this function. So now, to do this, we want to change this into a polynomial function, right? So, and the original polynomials function of any kind of function would usually be the a sub 0 plus a sub 1 times x plus a sub 2 times x squared plus a sub 3 times x squared and, I mean, x cubed plus dot dot dot. We will have infinitely many amount of the terms. And this is equal to the fx, which is also equal to ln of 1 plus x. So now, to solve this, we need to know the a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3. So now we will be solving that right now. So here, I will set the x to be 0. So when the 0 goes here and here, that is ln1 is equal to a sub n, I mean a sub 1. And ln1 is 0. So we know that a sub 1 is 0. And now I will differentiate this function. So that is f prime is equal to 1 over 1 plus x is equal to a sub 1 plus 2 times a sub 2 times x plus 3 times a sub 3 times x squared and plus dot dot dot. And here, when I set the x to be 0, right, all of this is gone and only leaving me with a sub 1 is equal to, when I put in the 0 there, I get 1 over 1, which is just 1. So, our a sub 1 is 1. Oh wait, this is supposed to be 0. a sub 2. Okay. And now, let's differentiate this again. So that we get f prime prime x is equal to, and then this is when I use the quotient rule, which is 1 plus x squared. I differentiate this, which is 0, and then times that, it's just going to be 0, minus differentiate this, which is 1 and times 1, so that's just 1. And that is just equal to negative 1 over x plus 1 squared. And here, when I put in the x is equal to 0, that goes into there, I get negative 1 is equal to, Wait, I, I don't, yeah, I need to differentiate this now, which is 2 times a sub 2 plus 3 times a sub 3, wait, 6, and x plus dot dot dot. So, a sub 1, I mean, negative 1 is equal to, put the 0 there, I get 2 times a sub 2. So, to get a sub 2 by itself, I have to divide 2 on each side, getting that a sub 2 is equal to negative 1 over 2. So now here I will differentiate one more time. So I get f prime 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 of x is equal to, now if I differentiate that, that's one more quotient rule I have to use, and that is equal to 1 plus x to the power of 4, that was negative 1, right? I will, yeah, that was negative 1, but differentiate that, that's 0 times that, it's either way that's going to be 0, but this time I have a, so that was 0, minus, now, I leave this by itself, which is negative 1, times the prime of this, which is equal to 2 plus 2x. And let me do some more simplifications so that I get 2 plus 2x is equal to, I mean, over 1 plus x to the power of 4. And if I differentiate that, I get 6a sub 3 plus dot dot dot. And here I put the x is equal to 0. And so 0 goes here and 0 goes here. here. I get 2, just 2, is equal to 6 times a sub 3. And I differentiate 6 on each side, getting that a sub 3 is equal to 1 over 3. So, our legitimate McLaurin series for that is, is putting all of them into here. So, I get a sub 0 is 0, so a sub 1 is though just x plus, no, minus x to the power of 2 over 2 plus x to the power of 3 over 3. And from here, we can 
already see that the pattern is positive minus positive, so it's probably going to be minus. And then you see the power that is increasing by one, so it's going to be x to the power of four over four, because the power is the same as the denominator. So, and then, so one, it will be like this. And I cannot write forever, so we have the plus dot dot dot. So this is ln of one plus x. So if you would want to find the value of ln two, just put in the x is equal to one here, and then you get your answer. And it's an approximation. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching my video. So see you guys in the next video. Bye.